bicycle threads. All the different types of threads here. Link in the description below. This is very useful. For instance, a common derailleur limit screw, JIS standard, 4 millimeters by 0.75 millimeters. Um, if you ever need to replace a limiting screw on a derailleur, which can happen somewhat often to a lot of people because they strip pretty easily sometimes if you're not careful, if you don't have the right size screwdriver, 4 millimeter by 0.75 millimeter. Link in the description below. Today's topic, screws, screws, screws. What screw goes for what thing on your bike? Check out the video description below. I'll have a link to a very helpful document by Park Tool telling you what size screw goes on to what components of your bike and then you can go buy it from the hardware store or wherever. I like to keep some on hand. I keep some M3, M4, M5, and M6. Ooh. Oh, that was loud. So yeah, I keep four different size screws or bolts on hand often. M3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's get a bin of them. Uh, depending on the size, I'm not sure which ones. But I think one or two of those sizes are sort of hard to come by and they're sort of expensive. So if you know the cheap place to get them, let me know. Usually you don't need a whole bunch of them though. You, know, you only need a few and uh, yeah, you know, it will be less than a dollar, but for just a couple of screws or bolts, that's sort of expensive if you think about it. You can try to get it in bulk, save a little money. Get the stainless steel kind. The kind that does not uh, tend to rust as easily. Because most screws that come on a bike or something like galvanized steel or something, something that will rust in uh, wintry conditions. The salt on the roads. It's on 20 miles per hour. Up a slight incline here. It is getting more dirty on this road. The road is getting uh, more debris on it, more chance for a puncture. It was clean earlier, but uh, now that construction is really going along here, uh, I 
mean, it's a relatively clean road. Can't really complain. It's not supposed to be swept clean necessarily for bikes yet. So, nah, technically not a construction site maybe. There aren't any fences up or anything, but you can still get through there, but uh, ah, stop complaining. <laughs> Downhill. Why am I going home early? Yeah, it's just it's lunchtime. Sometimes I go home for lunch. The guy waited waiting at the bottom. Let's slow the way down here. Maybe he'll get out of the way by the time I reach the bottom. Probably not. <laughs> so why am I going home? Well. I mentioned a couple videos ago that I'm going on a business trip so I got to get home and get some things for this trip I didn't bring with me this morning so oh boy go back boy. Technically this is private property I'm on, but I don't know really. It's like a road. Sort of like a, uh, oh, feels like a public road. Because there's an access point right over here, this bridge, that leads to the Metrolink light rail. So, I don't know. Could just be an easement cyclist straight ahead. I don't want to say most cyclists are sort of, you know, oblivious. Because that would be stereotyping and I don't like to stereotype. be very vigilant when you're on the road. You want to be weaving around. I try to be a good good example. But I make mistakes from time to time. light just went red it's gonna be a while so I'll probably make a really big loop here which is fine I get the bike more it's a really nice pavement here uh, tarmac it's uh looks sort of new so we'll go back around this business, circle back, <laughs> heck the, might, the light might be going green just about now, and I'll miss it anyway, oh well. Why am I going in a circle here, why didn't I just get over in the left lane? Back there when I made a right, it's a difficult spot, that's why I don't usually go over there onto that big road there. All the cars are beginning to crest the hill. It's a blind spot, I can't see them, they can't really see me. They're accelerating, obvious, probably, up the hill. Oh, yeah. And, uh, it doesn't leave a lot of time, you know, to react, so I thought I'd just do the safest thing and chicken out, make a right, and circle all the way around. 
I'm making a much bigger circle than I need to right here, but that's okay. Actually, I don't know why I'm coming up to this road. Circle back on it too. people up there to the left. Construction folks. Well, let's get over. We want to go straight here. Pedestrian waiting. Seven miles today. I think I missed the light. hardware but if you you know strip out the thread hole you got to either re-tap it or uh, put a nut on the other side I had a little video about that which is my setup right now on my winter bike on one of my brakes stripped out a thread hole mounting hole or something I think related to the the cable tension bolt or something so I just set a Put together a uh, got a little nutty and put a nut on the end of it. Works out just fine. Let's make a left. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. See you around. All these guys waiting. Let's go around. Very careful. A lot of stuff going on in the parking lot.
we go.